Okay, this is homemade steam engine part four, I believe. Um, we've had an incident. I had my flywheel <coughs> attached, nice and pretty, JB welded and soldered, and then the engine fell off the table and broke this off. Now, it would have been strong enough had it had not fallen, but I yanked and pulled on it, it would have come off. It was just when it, uh, you know, fell, or fell. So, yeah, that happened, and a bug just attacked me, because it's late at night, and they're all flying towards my light. Um, so anyway, here it is. I obviously improved the muffler. I put about six layers of inner tube, cut them up, and drill, had screw, screw, had this hollow pipe that's hollow, by the way, going through. So the steam should you know with each exhaust come out that and go into my stack here and yeah that that's about it for this um see it's gonna pop out that hole up here so that's kinda cool it also gives it some weight which I need um I need a way to reattach this if anyone has idea I might just have to weld it but I can't weld so I don't know I also worked on my oil. Uh, I put an inner tube there. Just one because there was no big gap like over there. And screwed it down. It's nice and tight. And I'll get some aquarium line and have a little can over here. Put my oil in. Um, aside from that, not much has been done. I still have this cheap assembly. I need to buy parts. But for those of you that haven't seen my previous videos, basically what's going to happen is you have steam coming from up here. And every time, the flywheel's obviously carrying it through just like a normal engine. Every time I reach top dead center, about a quarter way up from it, the nail is pushed up, which is coated in Teflon tape, which allows steam to go in. Then it, the steam forces it down and shuts it. It goes around, it exhausts, boof, puffs out of there, comes open, opens again. And all your intake valve is used for because, you know, if you've ever seen a two-stroke, intake valves do not go to the cylinder. They go under it. They go down here. See, it, the intake valve, my workbench is so messy, it's up here and there's a little passageway that comes down I can feel it you can't but it comes right through here so what I'm gonna have this doing and I don't I think I'm gonna put a clear back on this just like I find a piece of glass and drill it or not glass maybe plastic but that'll look cool and it will keep my oil in so every time it sucks in what it's gonna do is or every time it would normally intake it would take a little gulp of oil I'm gonna have to put a valve on it because norm then it would suck in every single intake which would not work I would flood my compartment so uh, there's that and that's really about it any suggestions on attaching this can you guys think of any way to get around welding Okay, let me let me point out. That's my old JB weld. I'm going to scrape that out. Here's what both sides look like. The hole is bigger, much bigger than the threads. My threads are stripped here because of the break, but there I can screw on. See, here's my nut. I can screw it on that far by hand. See, it's barely on there, but if I get a thingy, I can screw on maybe a few more turns. So my threads are useless. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to have to weld it somehow. Because see, this used to be longer too, but I broke the whole dang crankshaft off. My flywheel nut isn't on there either for some reason. I think here it is, I think. That's not it. Anyway, yeah, I need help mounting this 
So if you guys have any ideas, tell me. I'm not very happy with it right now. But uh, yes, yeah, so Steam Engine update number four.